What's going on? What's going on? This is your boy, Jay Will, host of the Unsigned Artist Gospel Show, syndicated and brought to you by WKCBFM.com. You people will not believe who I have on the horn with me tonight. Uh, a guy who reserves the right to be called Maestro, the great pianist, um, the one of the great dynamic duos of Allen and Allen. Yeah. I have on the horn Bruce Allen. How are you, sir? I'm fine, man. I am fine, man. And I'm happy and honored to be on your station with you. Oh, my God, man. I grew up listening to you guys. And, you know, uh, as a young musician, you sit around and you hear cats like you play and lay it down on the keys. You'd be like, man, one day, man, I want to sound like this dude, you know, <laughs> but man. And and so you know, the last project that you sent me, uh, man, I am nowhere in comparison to what God has anointed you with skill wise. Okay. But before we get into that, where are you from, sir? I'm originally from East St. Louis, Illinois. Yeah, man. <laughs> man. That's where I'm from. Wow. So how long have you been playing music? Since I was 10. Since I was 10 years old. So man. been about 51, 50, yeah, about 51 years. <laughs> oh, man. No wonder. Man, that sounds that sound crazy to hey. me. <laughs> yeah, hey, but I mean, no wonder you're so polished. You've been at it a while. Man, I tell you. You've been at it a while. So what was some of your greatest inspirations as a 10-year-old starting to get into music? Uh, Andre Crouch, uh, Edwin Hawkins, you know, those were those were two of my heroes when I was um, when I was young. And then I I um uh, some, some local musicians there was Sonny Ward Jr. His name is James Ward Jr., but we called him Sonny. Yeah. Sonny Ward Jr. took me under his wing and, you know, taught me choir stuff. Yeah. And and Malcolm Speed, Malcolm Speed taught me choir stuff. Yeah. Those, those, those were two big choir guys in the uh, St. Louis, East St. Louis metropolitan area. And uh, so uh, they they were, you know, heavy influences on my life. But, you know, there, there's been others. Uh, then when I, you know, got to high school and began to, to uh, get into jazz and things like that, you know, so then Herbie came, became you know, inspiration, uh, Chick Corea became oh, yeah. an, an inspiration, uh, Bill Evans yeah. became an inspiration, uh, Oscar Peterson became oh, uh, uh, an inspiration, Joe Sample became an inspiration. So, yeah. you know, a lot of those guys, uh, you know, I, I used to idolize and, and uh, just listen to their stuff, listen to their music. And, uh, and uh, you know, so that's, that's kind of where, where my musical inspiration uh, comes from. So let me ask a question. So, yeah, Joe Sample, Oscar Peterson, all those guys are great and phenomenal, especially uh, Oscar Peterson has probably some of the fastest fingers I've ever seen on the man on the piano. But uh, what was your final determination into keep it as a gospel jazz? Mm -hmm. 